All right, everybody, this is a quick do-it-yourself for people with uh, these kind of trucks are actually making somewhat of a comeback right here, this model. Um, so there's a lot of them coming out of the woodwork and people getting to running themselves. And a lot of the overlooked problems that are with these trucks are the people will uh, set the timing on these by ear just because they're, you know, they... When you use a timing light and don't do it and, and do not do it properly, you'll you'll get a weird outcome. So they'll just like ah, they'll move the distributor by hand and get it sounding pretty good. And you know you'll have it, it may run okay, but there'll be hiccups along the way or fuel mileage, fuel economy issues, or it just doesn't run right. So to do this, you uh, your first thing you want to do is you want to mark that little big that big old notch in your uh, plate down there. That's your zero degree marker. You'll see on your little plate, this little thing here, if it's still intact, it'll kind of tell you to set it at zero degrees top dead center. So you get the engine all the way warmed up. Some of them had a bypass connector right here with a brown and white stripe wire. Uh, but most of the ones I see after 88 are up under here. And I've had this one already disconnected. Brown and white wire. The one that's under the hood is a little different connector. It's more of a rounder shaped connector. It's similar to the oxygen sensors you'd see on these same models. If you follow the, follow the harness up, you'll see, well, the, the, some of the models had an oxygen sensor. It looked like that, but it'd be over there. You disconnect it. You crank the vehicle. Now you're at that uh, base timing where it's just right off the distributor. So you can actually set it. So at the engine at idle, full operating temperature you crank the engine and you hook your timing light up to the number one cylinder thank goodness on this one here which on the intake is hard to see but there's a number one labeling number one on this cylinder and gm's pretty good about doing that always look for the cylinder closest to you to determine number one on a v8 motor or a four cylinder anyhow any motor cylinder closest to you is always label number one or bank one you put your uh inductive Pick up on the, the spark plug wire. You connect everything to the battery over there. And you use your old school funny, happy, fun uh, timing light. You'll After the vehicle's running, you'll crank it. And I'll do it right quick. Uh, it's at zero degrees, so it's going to sound kind of flat. Of course, the check engine light will come on. You'll see it pop on. That's okay, because your bypass connector's undone. Then you're going to use your timing light. And you'll shine down there. It's hard to see with the phone. My phone, uh, that my phone's not working very well with the timing light. But there's a notch. I'll show you. On that harmonic balancer, there's a there's a little groove in it and with my phone and its ability to not film very well you'll see that groove line up once the timing is where it needs to be you'll there'll be a little a little groove cut on the harmonic balancer and you'll see it line up you may have to loosen the bolt on the distributor and kind of turn it a little bit to get it where it needs to be but once you actually line that little groove that's on the harmonic balancer that you will see especially if you look at it with the engine off and just rotate the engine uh, paint marks on both helps, but I'm doing this video quick because I'm, I'm, you know, got a lot to do today. But I'm just making a quickie. Once that lines up, you shut the engine off, like I just done. You'll plug in your bypass connector right here. You'll plug that back in. We'll do that with, the... and then we'll restart the vehicle, and then your check engine light will be out now because you've got the, the connector back hooked up and then you have the timing set where it is properly set the computer does the rest after you set it if you set it by ear you'll you'll very rarely you'll get it right thank you very much y'all have a good day this has been will bye